From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Well, today we are expecting some scattered thunderstorms. Your full weather forecast with Greg D is coming up. Good morning, I'm James Tully. Here are your ABC Action News headlines on this Wednesday morning. First up, Crime Stoppers now increasing the reward for information that leads to an arrest in a Pasco County home invasion. That reward now at $5,000 and deputies are looking for this Nissan truck. This is a blurry photograph here, but it is the best clue that they have. Back in June, they say someone attacked an elderly man in his home north of Hudson and stole his truck. If you know anything about what happened, obviously give him a call. Five dogs are in quarantine after attacking a poodle so badly the injuries required surgery. Brian Choate was walking his dog named Kuro in Seminole Heights last week. That's when animal control says five dogs broke free from their owner and attacked. A neighbor stopped them by using pepper spray. Now Brian's now warning others to be really prepared when you go out for a walk. Do not just leave your house with man's best friend, a leash, and a plastic bag. That's not enough. I learned the hard way. Right now, it's unclear what will happen to the dogs that attacked Kuro. Their owner has been cited, and the dogs have been surrendered to the county. We have a link where you can help out with the Poodle's $5,000 vet bill on abcactionnews.com. A man in Clearwater facing charges accused of punching a bus driver. Investigators say that Charles Brown Jr. punched the Pinellas County Transit driver three times in the arm last Thursday. The bus was stopped. The deputy who arrested Brown says he attacked him too. This comes after a push to protect bus drivers from attacks just like this one. Neighbors in Martin County are seeing more of this. Land crabs, more than they've ever seen before. The crabs are crawling around on streets, sidewalks, and also around homes. Some drivers say running over them does this gives them flat tires. The spawning season for the land crab started in late June. Crab mating and the migrating season runs until November, usually peaking in October. So they're going to see a lot more of that most likely. Our back to school drive now underway. ABC Action News teaming up with Hudson's Furniture and Perkins Restaurants to double the donations that you make. We have a list of drop off sites on ABC Action News. Dot com, so check it out. All right, Greg, how are we looking storm wise today? Uh, looking like morning storms again, James. For some of you along the coast, hello, everybody. Good morning. As we start off the day in the upper 70s to around 80, temperatures climb through the upper 80s to near 90. Rain coverage highest midday to the early afternoon, maybe 40 to 60 percent around Tampa. Then for the late afternoon, like we've seen the last couple of days, all the activity shifts to the east out towards Hardy, DeSoto Highlands, and eastern Polk County. You can always get the latest hour by hour for Forecast for wherever you are in the Bay Area by downloading the ABC Action News app on your smartphone.